Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the last Red Comet God vs. Sackdoth math match in this small series. I'm Shadow333, your host, and let us begin this final match. God on the west side of the map, once again, Hovercrafts, and Sackdoth on the east side of the map, very likely once again going for light vehicles, though. Nope, that's it. That is light vehicles. And let's see what he goes for starting out this time. Is it going to be darts? Is it going to be scorchers? Is it going to be impalers? Why not? Yes, they are called impalers. They. I couldn't remember if it was Impalers or Myrtles at this point. Anyway, he is, in fact, going for Slashers and Darts. That, that too, but Slashers and Darts. Much like last game, though, starting with Slashers instead of Darts. Definitely going for more of a defensive opener. God, once again, going for Scrubbers, though only a couple while he builds up his economy. Not a bad idea. Just send him to Scout, harass a bit. Slasher, however, in the right spot, which this appears to be. This section is a bit of a blind spot. This is a slight blind spot. And this is a blind spot, but otherwise it's not a terrible spot to be in. It is going to protect this metal extractor and this metal extractor, okay. Not great, but okay. If you had another slasher about here, I think that would do it. Anyway, the slasher is moving into a slightly better position for this, and there's the other slasher. The second slasher is, well, between the two of them, there's still a blind spot behind the metal extractor. The, slash, the Scrubber not taking advantage of that, however, not able to do so. It is pushed to the side, and this Slasher will try to stop it. Is it able to do so? No, not quite. Its attack range is not nearly high enough. But it is able to stop it from getting too close, and the Dart coming in to try to deal with... Well, I can't really do anything. Try to deal with the Metal Extractor, but there's no dice. That Defender is in the way. And Slasher as well, in a nice spot, able to take out this Scrubber before any real damage is dealt. Scrubber trying to take advantage of the blind spot and nearly managed to do so as well. But not quite able to do so. Nice slasher positioning there. And between the three of them, it, actually the slasher might want to go back to about... Like, the slasher might want to go here. If it goes here, that would be just about perfect. But the scrubbers are not coming in quite yet. And the slasher is actually moving forward, except for this one back here. The rest are moving forward. The scrubbers are actually retreating, not moving into attack quite yet. God assembling a group instead, getting a halberd as well. Both players we see across the series have refined their play somewhat. They are aware of each other's styles. They are aware of the units each other's going for. And they are trying to counter as best they can. And the halberd being built up earlier, the scrubbers being attacked by the slashers earlier, the darts being less of a focus early on in favor of the slashers. Definitely both players are working against each other's strategies. And God also going for overdrive heavily. This metal extractor at four times. However, Sackdoth ahead in the economy. Sackdoth actually expanding quite a lot. God focusing much more on overdrive and much less on expansion. He does have a quill though, and that will be the herald of the expansion, no doubt. Sackdoth, however, slightly ahead early on. He's using that. Well, he's using that to build up a larger economy. Building up a larger economy, building up more power plants, more metal extractors. And that's his focus with this so far. He does have a bit of reclaim from this mason, but his main focus is just setting up a defense perimeter with the slashers. From there, I'm not sure he's going to try to go for against the scorchers, but really, if he keeps the scorcher numbers, sorry, not the scorcher numbers, the scrubber numbers down, the scorchers would be not a bad counter overall, but well, the slashers are good too, provided they don't blow up their own darts. But the darts practically blow up themselves, so it's not a huge loss. And there goes one more. However, getting rid of that halberd in the process, which was definitely useful. Slash is moving into an even more defensive position. So at this point, I think that Sackdoth will be going from Slasher possibly into Leveler, probably into Ravager, given what he's done historically, and possibly even into a different factory entirely. Per air, maybe? We'll see. More Scrubbers coming from God, though. Entirely Scrubbers and Halberds. Nothing else from the Hovercraft factory at this point. But given how well he's done with Scrubbers, I cannot say I blame him. I think that's perfectly reasonable. He's been doing very well with that. I expect that he's going to continue to do well with that as he goes along. And as we see, the Scrubber able to get rid of this defensive turret, though losing two Scrubbers in the process, nearly losing three. No, losing three! In fact, his fourth is going to be very heavily damaged, and it's going to be... Well, it's going to be forced back by a dart, of all things. And... Sackdoth continue to expand. God at parity with economy, but at this point, God's playing catch-up to Sackdoth, which is new. The last two games, Sackdoth was behind God by almost a factor of two in all cases. But now they're even. And Sackdoth's actually starting out ahead. God's, like I said, playing catch-up to this one. And a lot of these scrubbers being kept down, the numbers being kept down, those slashers actually been doing a very good job countering it. 
And with all the scrubbers coming in here, this is all Sackdot's metal. Like one more mason just to come in and eat it all up. Actually, he has that one more mason. He could come in and eat it all up right now, but he's using that instead to build a more solid infrastructure at first. More scrubbers coming in, which will contend this reclaim field, but also grow it, assuming it works out. And here's the Scorchers. Not quite in place to deal any damage, but they had the right idea, moving towards the metal extractors. More Scorchers coming up. As the Scrubbers go towards the north side of the map, and these Scorchers, not quite enough of them in place. The Slashers also trying to get in position to deal with the Scrubbers. More Scrubbers, however, coming from the south. This is the flank I was looking for. There are Scrubbers coming from the south, and they will be a bit of a trouble to deal with, but... These slashers actually able to take care of two of them with no losses. Actually, these slashers have all been doing a pretty good job. None of them gotten veterancy yet, but they have been doing a good job. Slashers in general seem to be positioned properly, a useful counter against scrubbers. Obviously, something the scrubbers can flank, but still, you can go far with some slashers. And this slasher, however, out of position completely. Another one coming up to take up the slack a bit, but this one looks like it's prepared just for another attack coming in from the north. And Halberd coming in to distract the forces that are up towards the north. Sackdoth, however, focused on building up this here base. God is setting up some defenses to try to out-defend the defenses, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, at this point, Sackdoth has claimed this reclaim field pretty much for himself. His workers can just go to it, and they are doing exactly that. They are reclaiming this entire area, so he is going to get a huge metal boost. God slightly ahead right now for economy, but that's not going to last long. Sackdoth with the reclaim is going to be pushing very far ahead. He doesn't have another caretaker or factory yet, but he could very easily get that. He has the resources for that, or he soon will. 23 metal, but with the reclaim, that's going to be quite a lot. He did lose some metal extractors over to the north. The scrubbers did do a nice harassment job. God once again ahead in economy, but the reclaim will make up for it once it starts. Where's... Where'd that... Okay, never mind. Apparently... The Mason got distracted by building metal extractors. Not a bad idea, but still, there's a bunch of tasty reclaim here. Eat the reclaim! It's it's good for you, especially when you're at an economic disadvantage like Sackdoth is. He's, we're once again close to the situation of the first two games, but Sackdoth, however, does have all of his units out of position. These slashers are not in a position to deal anything. They need to get behind the defensive lines. They need to set themselves up as part of the defensive line, and then the scrubbers won't be doing too much to them. But right now, they are in a bad spot. Sackdoth's commander... Having taken some damage from the Scrubbers, but God's Commander is well taking damage from the Slashers. Nice Scorcher raid to the south, and more Scorchers coming down from the top. Sackdoth is doing nice... Well, he actually is actually getting a stronger economy. Nice somewhat use of this Mason here. There we go, getting a Caretaker up to help with constructing more units faster. And God, whoever has had a Caretaker... Actually, has two Quills assisting this factor for some time. Not quite two second Scrubbers, but... It was definitely at least four second scrubbers. Still very powerful, but both players still a parody, actually. Sackdoth did fall behind a bit, but at this point, a caretaker in the middle of the map to reclaim everything. There we go, and now we have a mason coming in to reclaim everything else as well. So both players... Sorry, both players. Sackdoth is the only one to reclaim. Not both players. God doesn't have any reclaim going on here. God's entirely based on building metal ice and he's also going for the northwest as much as Sackdoth is going for the southeast. So, both players have pretty much even map control. Sackdoth, however, does have the center, and that is a powerful place to be. And these slashes in position to take it, and pushing down! He's starting to win the War of Attrition. What will matter, though, is these halberds. These halberds are the big key for God getting back in this, and they're doing a decent job getting rid of the slashers and getting, well, some distraction on the late laser turrets. That's the big thing, though. These Scorchers, however, are able to take care of the Metal Extractors. Not sure if Sackdoth is, in fact, going along to the north, but he's going to meet up with the Scrubbers, and this fight is pretty much going to decide the game, I think. If it happens, will it happen? Well, it's starting to happen. The Scrubber, one of them goes down to a Scorcher, and nothing goes on, actually. Sackdoth retreating from that, not a terrible idea. But at this point, both players... Actually, God, once again, falling behind. Both players are fairly close to even, but... Sackdoth taking more map control, getting a lot of darts played. Getting a lot of darts in play, I should say. Trying to outdo the Alpha there, and a mace coming up for God. He is building well, a couple maces. They weren't infinite build. Maces, very useful riot units, have a nice beam laser that they use. Get rid of small units, the darts will do nothing. Nice prediction on counter there. But that mace isn't really making cost at this point. Born on Metal only getting rid of about five darts so far, but... It can get rid of any number of darts if they attack it. And God is... 
He's pushing back. Pushing back very hard. The mace coming in will be able to take care of most of this stuff here. And... That is... Well... Unit under attack. That's still something. It looks like... Oh, actually, God's Commander died while I was looking away. Cyber Knight pointed, kindly pointed that in the chat, and he's right. I did miss that. Not really that important, though, because the real thing is what God's doing with his units and economy. Sackdoth, however, is losing Commander. I do see that happening. And that Commander had a nice couple of on it as well. But an Air Factory has been built for Sackdoth. This is actually what I was expecting a while ago. I mentioned in the first game, I was kind of expecting Napalm Bombs to be used to even out the field. And this is actually being used instead to get rid of a lot of the power infrastructure. Closing up seven power plants right away and possibly killing some of them. But definitely closing them up. So cutting down God's economy quite a lot, actually. These Scorchers over in the north as well, doing their job very nicely. More Napalm attacks in the center of the map. The Caretaker has gone down for... No, it hasn't gone down. Never mind. The Caretaker's just not really in a... Why is it not reclaiming, actually? That's bizarre. Is the Caretaker unable to reclaim through the forces? That's unlikely. I didn't expect that to happen, but... Apparently there's a bit of a problem. The Caretaker not reclaiming. Not sure why. But that is not something that Sackdoth wants, I'm sure. God is taking advantage of reclaim now. He's taking a lot of damage on his quills, but not enough to kill at this point. Another Napalm Bomber, however, will finish them off. And that point... God kind of... Yeah, he's losing three of them right away, and there goes the rest of them. Yet yeah, losing all of those quills to Napalm Bombs. Two of them left, never mind. Three of them left, actually, but... Those Napalm Bombs doing a great deal of damage. Sackdoth taking full advantage of the Air Factory while getting some... Getting a lot of darts. Trying to do with darts what God was doing with Scrubbers. But like I mentioned at the beginning of the game, darts... Or not beginning of the game. Last game. Darts do have about half the damage of Scrubbers and about twice... Or three times the fire rate. It's just a matter of getting into range to actually deal damage in the first place. They have short range and very low health. Doing a nice dodging job. This is just auto micro as well. But they aren't able to deal enough damage against the Halberds. The Halberds just have way too much health. But the Napalm Bombers, however, dealing all the damage that's needed. More Maces coming in, but against the Napalm Bombers, not going to help too much. They aren't low enough to the ground for the Maces to deal enough damage. The Laser can hit, but not for long. And the Maces is going for a straight attack. One of them going down. The other two will be going down shortly to the next Napalm Strike. This one's down. The third one actually not heavily damaged. It's doing okay. And the center of the map being taken back, God actually... Ahead in economy once again, mostly from Reclaim. This Reclaim field the center of the map is not claimed by anyone in the Reclaim field over here. Sackdoth took care of. But Sackdoth doing a nice job making sure that God can't do a whole lot with this. Flails coming in as well. Nice homing hover unit for anti-air. However, between the fact that... I mean, Sackdoth has strong ground and air presence, especially with these Scorchers coming in. The Scorchers taking care of the rest of God's economy and will be coming in here to take care of these solar plants. The Maces can help, but the Scorchers can easily surround them and finish them off without any real damage. One Scorcher will go down to the Mace. While the Mace goes down to all the Scorchers, the Scorchers are distracted by the Power Plants and the Laser Turret. Power Plant Wall here keeping them out, and the Mace is actually able to take care of a lot of them because they're not in position. When I said only one would die, I meant because they were all together. But they aren't all together. That Mace is actually stopping them one by one, able to take care of them, and able to take care of a lot of them. Not able to take care of enough to make cost, mind you. Which means he actually only take care of less than two. So I guess it was partly the laser turret. But it doesn't matter. These Avengers... Sorry. The Avengers were just going through already. The Avengers coming in, dealing some damage. Just being a bit of a pest. The real story is the Phoenixes, the Napalm Bombers, tearing up well, quite a lot near the factory. Not quite enough yet, but another few strikes in that factory will go down with that. Most of God's hopes. Sackdoth now is turning the tables... He has twice the economy of God easily. If they both have reclaim, although admittedly reclaim is pretty variable, but still, he's Sackdoth has twice the economy of God right now. A lot of that on air units, but even then, it's a lot. A lot of money, and a lot of money spent on scorchers. A lot of caretakers pushing the scorchers out, and these napalm bombers only needing a couple of them. He's just continuing to strike with them over and over. The same ones, too, and the Scorchers. Another set of Scorchers coming in. God not reclaiming this, but Sackdoth reclaiming his. Does have Masons have to reclaim that, and the Scorchers trying to get rid of these power plants. If one goes down, he does have a breach in the wall, and one is going down at the south, too. Not quite gone down. Two health left. Wow. That is close. 
And unfortunately, that didn't die, because that's that'd be a very nice hole. Actually, if he swings around right now, the mace out of position, he could take care of the power plant, move in, and just win from there. Take out God's entire infrastructure. Admittedly, not the maces, but the, the Phoenix can take care of the mace. They can take care of the maces. And if he builds up... Well, Leecho, actually, I was going to say, if he builds up a shadow, the precision bomb with Leecho basically just drops a nuke everywhere. And that will get rid of these maces, no problem. The Scorches, however, going right into the mace line. Going right through the mace line, though, and into the flails. No, going towards the mechs is not sure about where they are, and Sactoth actually has no idea. He doesn't know whether or not there are any metal extractors over the north, and they aren't. But he still needs to check. Not a bad idea. A dart would do a better job, but... Or just one Scorcher, the rest of them being sent down here. Because at this point, God has now gotten a chance to rebuild. He has a couple more caretakers, or another caretaker being built up. A bunch of quills being built up. And this factory is still pushing out units. Though God, only 9 metal. 37 energy, but 9 metal. He can't actually make caretakers be useful other than for reclaim. Granted, that's a pretty useful purpose. But still, Sactoth now has four times the three to four times the economy. The tables have completely turned. And Sactoth able to well, deal a lot of damage to the character. You're not quite able to get rid of it. The Scrubbers are slowing his Scorchers down and dealing with them. The Flail, however, if that goes down, it's going to be a lot. And Ravager's coming in as well. Ravager's having been built up. They're moving in, and they are finishing the job, just pushing things in where the Scorchers can't. And even with the Scrubbers, only two Scrubbers, not a big deal. The Scorchers can take care of that. And the Phoenix is just moving to finish off the rest of these power plants. However, they have been automatically healing on their own, so that's that damage from before, not really helping a whole lot. But that is game! God throwing in the towel! Nicely done, Sackdoth, on basically getting revenge there. Hope you enjoyed those games, and that is going to be it for me tonight. So, thank you for watching, and have fun!